I know you gonna kill it, bro. King, you got me? Sinner go south, sinner go south. I'm gonna knock these ain't lived up. Roll up, Ghost House Studios. Yeah. We blowing clouds in the ghost house. We rolling loud in the ghost house. Break it down in the ghost house. Bring a pound to the ghost house. We blowing clouds in the ghost house. We rolling loud in the ghost house. Break it down in the ghost house. Bring a pound to the ghost house. We blowing clouds in the ghost house. We rolling loud in the ghost house. Break it down in the ghost house. Shit. Bring a pound to the ghost house. What's good, all y'all? Holy shit. Good to see you guys. Pink hair with the resub. Thank you so much. Good to see you. Yo, hope your late night stream was good last night. You were on late as fuck, doggy. Um, yo, another night on twitch.tv, everybody. Welcome. Good to have y'all here. We are live in the ghost house, Denver, Colorado. Good to see y'all. Welcome to the stream. My name is Rich, if you don't know. Good to have you here. Uh, I see we got uh, Mello S. Harry, Mello Sherry here. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. Yeah, if you got music to share, hit the feedback command. Get it in the queue. Uh, we'll be getting into that in just a, a bit. Yeah, happy two months. Thank you so much, Pink Hair. Uh, yeah, good to see all you guys. Your boy says, what game was that? Uh, that was NBA 2K21. <laughs> Apparently a recording studio in the game. Who knew? Yeah, I've been trying to find uh, recording studios and video games and, and stuff like that. If anyone's got some good ones, please do send them to me. Uh, I, I, I love this kind of stuff. Uh, very, very into it. Been trying to find more clips, stuff like that. I'm, fi I'm, I'm looking for clips to play at the beginning of the stream. You know, I have, uh, I have fun ones that uh, I like to uh, toss in there. But, you know, if people got suggestions on my plan, let me know. You know look, look for little short videos, 30 seconds to a minute. TikTok shorts, whatever, as long as I can pull them up and play them. Pretty fun take suggestions for that for sure new gta looks weird <laughs> in the studio dropping bars multiple choice <laughs> yeah uh guys uh yo we got uh we got a wild stream for you tonight i'm very very excited i am very very excited tonight uh gonna be a good one if y'all haven't been here at the beginning of the streams before just uh just know we we we, we take a little time we go through so we talk about some stories stuff going on in the world and uh music and the music news music entertainment world uh just for a moment before we get into to the uh the song feedback, so uh, do get settled in and enjoy that. I really hope you do. It's fun. We're going to keep it uh, really quick today, of course. Uh, as usual, we're getting more and more people here at the beginning of the streams. Uh, stream is 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 popping, I got to say. Look, we're almost at 500 followers, you guys. Started off the day with 483. Who will be number 500? Uh, someone's got to let me know when it happens. Bet you it happens tonight. I, I think we're on, uh, on pace. We'll see. I, I don't want to get arrogant. I don't want to get, get cocky here. But uh, that's a big deal, you know? That's a big deal. Uh, we've been slowly making moves here. We had less than 100 followers not six weeks ago, about six, seven weeks ago, less than 100 followers here. And uh, doing uh, doing these feedback streams, uh, seeing, seeing some good growth, you know? Obviously, that's what we love to see. But uh, just getting a lot of good people on the stream, submitting their music, hearing a lot of good stuff. The quality level of the music on the streams has gotten high as fuck. It's through the roof. It's higher than I get during these streams. It's wild. So, uh, guys, be coming with your your best stuff. I, I know I know you are. We already got a bunch in the queue tonight already. Uh, so, yeah, again, let me not take too long at the beginning of the stream here. Uh, there are a couple things we'll talk about real quick, and then we'll start with the feedback. I see your boy is first tonight. We will get you up in just a bit. Uh, please uh, stick around for, for just a few minutes as we kind of uh, kick the stream off right tonight. Yeah, hope you all are doing good. Hope all is well. Um, uh, again, the stream's been getting busy, so a couple new policies. Uh, I turned up the cooldown on the Discord uh, because uh, last night I was feeling bad. We just had people who were here since the beginning of the stream getting like a bunch of songs on while people who came in later were really waiting a very long time to get heard. So turn that up to two hours, uh, really just trying to keep it fair for everybody here. And, uh, again, we've been, uh, we've been having some weird moments with the, the skip policy. People want to know, uh, I picked a number seven bucks guys, seven bucks for a skip. Is it a lot? I don't know. It's only going to go up. 
So uh, it might be a bargain, to be honest with you. But uh, I don't want it to be a huge thing. You know, I don't want to be spending my whole stream worrying about who's in the queue. I want it to be a big deal when someone skips. I want it to feel good. So, uh, yeah, seven bucks uh, to skip the queue. And, and you could do that in a donation or you could do that with like a, a gift sub and, and 200 bits, what, whatever. Seven bucks is the number. It, it'll just be easier to get my attention that way. You know, every time someone uh, gifts a sub or subs or something, I don't want to be trying to figure out if they're if they're trying to get up in the queue. So, uh, yeah, seven bucks to skip. That is the official policy uh, from here on out until it changes. Uh, but uh, I, I think that'll be fair. I think that'll reduce the amount of skips we get and also make it a little more fun when people skip. You know, it'll be a bigger deal. So, uh, yeah, skip command. Uh, it'll link you to the donate. Um, and, uh, again, uh, we will be starting the contest Monday, you guys. I have uh, – ooh, it's getting ready. Ooh, I actually have the session pulled up right here. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll close that for now. But, uh, yeah, pretty excited about uh, how that's going to go. We'll see. I don't even know how it's going to go. It might be great. It might be horrible. But, uh, again, I'll be releasing a STEMS pack next Monday. I'll be telling you all about it. Um, I, you know, plenty of details I'll be giving you at the stre on the stream Monday. So, uh, I, again, this is the last stream of the week. There's a very good chance I'll be on Sunday night, uh, you know, ne this Sunday coming up. Uh, so, hopefully, we'll have a nice full week next week. But last stream of the week tonight, thank you guys all for just making these so fucking good. I mean, they've been amazing. So again, uh, stay tuned for a contest on Monday. <laughs> Y'all going to crush it. Hell yeah. Yeah, I, I think it'll be fun. It'll be a little, uh, you know, kind of open-ended. Again, it'll be kind of a uh, an instrumental that I'm giving you. You could just rap over it if you want to. You, uh, you could take the stems and remix them if you're a producer. Whatever, whatever works. It's going to be fun. It's going to be really, really fun. What's up, Shy? Good to see you. Uh, yeah, can't believe it's been two months, right? I, I'm get, You guys are my first resubs, you and Invisible Moon. I really, really appreciate you guys. Uh, it's just been so sweet. Uh, just having y'all here um, again, yeah. Uh, you know, thanks for being here. Thanks for uh, just making the stream feel good and lively, bringing a lot of energy, bringing the flamingo emotes. Look at this. I finally, I finally got the uh, the flamingo emote. Where is it? Hell yeah. Ain't that fun? Ain't that fun? Um, yeah, thank you guys all for being here. Uh, let's not stall anymore. Uh, let's get into the, the couple things we want to talk about real quick, and then we'll be getting into the music. Very exciting, you guys. So thanks for being here once again. And you know what time it is. We're going to move the stream forward. <laughs> So, you know, real quick, uh, uh, just uh, local interest, but also kind of all over the country and a lot of places right now. Heat wave, you guys, just stay safe, stay cool. Uh, uh, Ten or more days of 90 degree weather in Denver coming up, probably like this in a lot of places. Uh, it's nasty out there. So, yeah, you know, just just whatever. Just wanted to start off the stream with a mention, with a mention. <laughs> no, it's not sub to himself. Uh, yeah, stay hydrated. Very important, especially if you're up in high altitude like we are here in Denver or in a lot of places in the mountains. Um, yeah, guys, uh, <laughs> 10, 10 days of 90 degree weather. Yeah, I was out with my dog just a little before the stream tonight. And it was like perfect, like in the afternoon, but it's getting hot during the days and it's going to get hotter and hotter. Guys, take care of yourself. Um, okay. So again, that's just, uh, just want to mention that that's not music news. That's just, uh, but a uh, good thing to be aware of, uh, the heat can kind of get to you. Um, following up on a story we've been checking in on all week. Uh, oh, maybe that's not the right one. There we go. Victory. Lo-Fi Girl back online. We've been reporting on it every day this week, <laughs> taken offline because of a fake copyright claim. Uh, YouTube has responded to the claim and restored her. Uh, checked in on the channel earlier. Let's take a look. There were 26,000 people watching Lo-Fi Girl uh, just a little before the stream. 24,000 now. God damn, people cannot get enough of Lo-Fi Girl. So she's back at it. She's studying, doing her thing. So uh, congrats. Back online. The, uh, the lo-fi beats have returned. I mean, again, there are only, what, a billion other channels doing this. But, yeah, uh, <laughs> copyright claim gone by. So uh, they were big enough to appeal to YouTube. Again, I know it's harder for a lot of us uh, uh, smaller content creators. We don't have YouTube's ear the way a channel with 700 million clicks does. Um, and uh, talking more about, uh, you know, the kind of competition we're all facing online here. Look at this. Blackpink is playing a concert in PUBG. 
uh, Blackpink going to be performing in PUBG. And uh, this is kind of a trend. We got uh, immersive VR concerts and virtual video concerts, all this stuff. Um, K-pop bands, uh, you know, definitely uh, high technology, making the move. Uh, you know, so, uh, guys, if it's hard to get people to listen to y'all songs now, uh, look what you're going to have to be competing with these virtual concerts every night soon enough. You know, you think it's not going to happen. Y'all's favorite bands and artists and shit. They're going to be playing live in VR every single night. There's not going to be a uh, uh, distance. There's not going to be, we're playing in this city or that city. It's going to be everywhere. You just strap on your headset, you dive in, you go live in your computer, jump into your phone, and uh, you're there, you're watching the show. Uh, how can we compete with this just by releasing a song? I mean, my God, you know? These things obviously have been going on for many, many years, but going to become a lot more common with, a, a, you know, $15 million invested into this uh, VR concert platform, Amaze VR, and uh, they have a new uh, partnership with the, this K-pop uh, distributor. Um, guys, yeah, it's uh, competition is getting heavy. So, uh, again, you know, when you're releasing a song, you're not just competing with uh, all the other music that's out there. Again, hundreds of thousands of songs every week. You're competing with uh, not just Netflix and, uh, and you know, Twitch and all that. Uh, and, and, you know, you're competing with uh, everything, with people going out, with people playing a game, with people uh, hanging out with their friends. And you're competing with uh, virtual reality concerts. Now, again, I, I, I have to imagine this is going to be getting much, much more common in the future. People do enjoy, uh, you know, entertainment experiences that feel unique, even if they're virtual, you know? So if you make it feel like an event in VR, people are on board and that's what they'll be doing that night instead of listening to, and listening to all the music on the stream. It's fucked up. You heard an AI artist the other day. They're out there. Was it good? Uh, seeing a lot of AI art, <laughs> seeing a lot of AI music now. Uh, I just got a, an email from uh, that AI site we used a couple weeks ago on stream saying they added uh, drum and bass and Afrobeat. You could just click a button and it'll generate it. Pretty crazy. Artificial artists with millions of fans in Japan. I, I mean, I, someone is behind it, I guess. I don't know. I mean, we had, you know, gorillas or whatever here. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, you know, and, uh, you know, so instead of going to a VR concert, maybe go to a real show. It's independent venue week here in the United States, uh, all week. And this upcoming weekend, uh, go see a show, you guys. It's, uh, this is a recent thing that's been going on the last couple of years. Uh, and especially during COVID, you know, uh, people, uh, oh, the voice was artificial. Oh, uh, Hatsune Miku. Is that it? Uh, that's like a big thing there for like 20 years now. <laughs> it's a wild thing. Um, yeah. What was I going to say? Uh, yeah, go, go see a show, independent venue week. Uh, just trying to put some shine on the, the, the venues all over the country that are keeping music going, having a very, very difficult time during COVID. A lot of places I'm sure you've seen have closed down, changed hands. We had a bunch of venues in Denver. You know, they're still venues, but they kind of had to change up what they were doing, switch hands. I think most places are still open though, even if they're under another name, but, uh, some, some really, uh, some really hot spots here in town were closed for like the better part of two years. So uh, these places need support. And again, yeah, just doing a week long celebration of the independent venue. Uh, there's, I guess you could find, find shows that uh, are a part of this. I'm, I'm sure they're around. Um, just a couple more things and then we'll be getting into music feedback. Really just a few more things. We're going to be going really quick tonight. This is all quick stuff here guys and uh then we'll be jumping into it in a second so do be patient stick around uh again we got your boy we got pink hair we got rosso we got shy z seals rtz a bunch of people in the uh in the queue when we'll be get uh, when we get started uh so uh you know just just stick around for just a little bit we'll be getting started real soon uh supply chain issues killing synth companies making it impossible to ship new designs uh, you know, this article has some uh, theories on what the uh, what's causing the supply chain issues, but there's there's no uh, no doubt that uh, it's happening. Synthesizers.com shutting down. Uh, you know, they're trying to sell um, uh, Isla Instruments. I don't know if you have if that's how you pronounce that, but maybe some of y'all are familiar with them. Uh, they they ordered parts for a sampler they're making two years ago and just got them this week. Uh, Behringer has a ton of products uh, coming out uh, that they've announced. Uh, you know, uh, they have a whole line of mini synths. They have a, a, 
a Moog Taurus bass synth that they're doing, a Buckla uh, music easel knockoff. This is a wild synth. This is, uh, I don't even, I, some of these I don't know how you pronounce. I don't know if it's Buckla or Bukla. I've heard of these, you know, many, many years ago. Very, very old school, 1970s synth. Uh, yeah, they used to come in this literal suitcase form. It was a synthesizer suitcase in the 70s. You would just uh, open it up and plug it in, and there you go. So uh, Behringer, you know, they do a lot of uh, kind of uh, modern, affordable clones of old gear. Uh, they're not going to be able to deliver a lot of these anytime soon because of chip shortages, pro- uh, you know, computer part shortages. Um, so, uh, yeah, you know, might have to pay a little extra, wait around a little more for some of these analog synths if you're waiting for them, digital synths even. Um, just again, a couple more things, uh, very, very short, really just a few more short things. And then we're starting, uh, in East London, a uh, new museum exhibition, uh, detailing the evolution of grime music, grime stories from the corner to the mainstream at the museum of London features photos, videos, and memorabilia documenting two decades of grime. This is a basement studio jammer. Uh, I don't know too many grime artists, but I definitely had my phase back in the day. Dizzy Rascal, shit like that. Uh, you know, it definitely made its way over to America. It was a huge genre, very influential over the last couple decades. Um, so, you know, if you're in London, <laughs> check out the Grime Museum <laughs> at the Museum of London. Uh, two more very short things. Uh, Fender Lawsuit. Uh, this is uh, really brief in the next uh, next one or two. Really brief, too. Uh, Fender uh, getting sued in uh, England, more UK, uh, for requiring retailers to guarantee a minimum retail price on their guitars. I didn't know that was illegal. Um, I didn't know that was illegal here or in the UK or, uh, you know, I thought that was your right as a, a seller. But um, apparently against the law uh, to uh, to say that a company must sell your guitar above market value or whatever. I don't know. Uh, so class action lawsuit buyers, uh, of Fender guitars in the UK could receive compensation. Uh, a funny one here. And then just one, a uh, really quick announcement and then we'll be into it. Um, heavy metal knitting world championship in Finland. Look at this. There are more metal bands per capita in Finland than any other country on the planet. Uh, this is from a uh, journal and musical things. Uh, kind of fun, uh, side. I get a couple of these stories from, um, uh, so uh, look at this. This is the band who won. They're uh, uh, they're from the UK. String thing. This is their introduction video. Look how fun this is. Locals are calling it string thing. It's a metal muppet. How fucking cool! So uh, they have some sort of competition where they're literally uh, knitting on stage while they're performing. It's metal and, and yarn and crazy costumes and uh, looks like a pretty pretty wild. Uh, f- <laughs> I don't know if it's a festival. It's a heavy uh, heavy metal knitting world championship. Contestants were required to knit something while performing to a soundtrack of metal. So it uh, looks like a fun one. Yeah, you guys, if you're in Finland, <laughs> there's a whole video of the entire competition on here, an hour and 30 minutes of the Heavy Metal Knitting Championship. Look, if this is your thing, this is your thing. There it is. Uh, and uh, very last thing before we get into the music, special shout out, uh, uh, my friends Knuckle Pups uh, Band here in Denver, local band. Uh, their album is coming out this weekend. Uh, they got a little write-up in the local press here, The Westward, um, just uh, talking about... Uh, uh, you know, they're, they're processing all this stuff, but uh, they'll be re- releasing this music uh, partially recorded here at the Ghost House and some good friends of mine for a long time. So uh, if you are in Denver, check them out. <laughs> and that's it. That's it, you guys. I told you it wouldn't be long. I feel like we sped through that. That was, what, like five minutes going through all the damn news there. Uh, Thank you guys so much for being here again tonight. Uh, Again, going to have a good one. The streams have been amazing. Thank you all for submitting your music. Again, if you're you're hanging out, if you're lurking, and you want to share your music on stream, be brave. Do it, please. Show us what you got. We're listening to music, all sorts of music, all different kinds, all different uh, styles, all different levels, all different uh, levels of completion. 
Uh, so do not be shy. Submit your music. Hit the feedback command. Toss it in the feedback queue channel of the Discord. Make sure it's in the right channel, you guys. It's the feedback queue. It looks like people are getting better at that. <laughs> but uh, always get a couple people uh, missing out because they po post in the wrong channel. So make sure you're in that feedback queue. Uh, we got a lot of music all ready to get the stream going. Uh, it's only 9.20. Wow, so early. Guys, we're going to be online for uh, a, a bunch of hours tonight. We're doing it again. It's the last stream of the week. Uh, so we're going to have a fun one. We're usually on until 2 in the morning and uh, maybe even a little later. Whoops. Uh, well, you heard that. Yeah, we got your boy coming up, uh, starting off the stream tonight. Better be careful. Headbanging, going to poke out your eye with the knitting needles. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, definitely a, uh, well, I, I don't know. I mean, I guess you see uh, some more extreme props in uh, in metal from time to time, but got to be careful with those needles. Uh, let's fucking go, you guys. Again, thank you all for being here. Amazing streams this week. Get your music in the queue. If you want to skip, got to pay up. Use the skip command. Uh, so let's get into it, you guys. It is Radio Ghost House. Radio Ghost House. Let's start off the stream with one from your boy. What's up, Asnadel? This is uh, Zombie Life.